Hey everybody, Chris Adamo here from Balloons Online in Sydney, Australia. So it's been a couple of months since version 3 of the Balloons Online design tool came out, but I haven't created a video on it yet, so you probably have no idea what it does. Um, here we have just a, a couple of quick minutes, I thought I'll explain a couple of the features. Uh, so the address is balloons.com.au forward slash tools, and you'll get to this homepage here, and click on the, uh, the link, click here to start. So really what we've created, um, which is different from versions one and two, is we have a grids interface, but the most important thing that I'm really excited about is block paint and like uh, click and drag paint. So here we have the um, duplet square pack method. So just to give you an example, click and drag. You hold down the mouse and drag so much faster than all the previous versions walking around and clicking every single balloon on and off. So the block paint is uh, this little checkbox. You click it and just say we were to choose a different color. So drag for a square or a rectangle, which um, if you're creating a wall or whatever, you can start with a base and oh my God, it's so much faster. So just an example, whatever it is, um, block paint and click and drag, which is really good. I'll show you the grids module. So if you're unfamiliar, this little drop down box, we have all the modules to select from. Uh, also, if you're unfamiliar, you, you'll see calculator tools for many different things. But back to here, we'll look at uh, grids. So Dante Longy requested we have a template for grids and it took about a week. And uh, you know, when Dante asks for something, we, we make it happen, right buddy? All right, uh, so here we have block plane. Let's select, you know, whatever it is. And add a, another color. Just say we're creating like a Minecraft thing here. And we'll remove block paint. Whatever it is. Now, an interesting extra feature here just for the grids module is uh, if you've ever worked with grids, you can put a, an 11 inch balloon in, inflated to, I don't know, whatever it is, nine inch uh, inside the squares. However, you can also split it. You can put those little dividers in. So we've created a feature here. We, the checkbox is split. Select the square that we want to split, and then we can. Uh, oops, so split, split it and then remove the checkbox and then you can color it in. So the, the split feature, um, of course, applies if you want to add a lot of detail. So in this example, let's say, let's split um, the central pieces and just say we want to create, oops, make sure you remove it. Um, just a bit of detail here to make more of a rounded whatever shape. Okay, well look, that's all I wanted to explain. Um, block paint and drag and drop paint. Uh, I hope the tool is useful. Send me any feedback if you have it. Um, but I will see you guys at WBC in a couple of weeks. Bye.